In the previous two tutorials we rendered some render passes and render layers out of Maya and this tutorial just shows you how to get those into After Effects. Um, first thing to do with After Effects before you import anything is make sure that your color space is set correctly. So to do that we go to File, Project Settings and the Color tab. And you want to make sure that your working space is set to sRGB. If you click the little arrow down it's this one near the top here and then you want to linearize your working space if you don't do that and you bring your exrs in and the colors don't look quite right they look a bit too dark than what you had in maya then it's you need to make sure that you have set that correctly um, if you've not used after effects before uh, i'm not going to go into it in a lot of detail so you should be able to follow along but essentially this here is our project window where we import files, this is the timeline on the bottom and this is where we will view our image. So I'm going to right click in our projects or you can go to file import and I'm going to choose file import file. Uh, I'm going to locate my images directory of uh, my project uh, folder and I'm going to go to master layer which is my uh, multi layer DXR. And with that selected, it's really important that we choose to import as a composition. Uh, and what that will do is that will allow After Effects to break apart the, the, the layers for us and choose import. Okay, so I don't want to pre-compose the layers, but I do want a contact sheet and I will show you what that is. I've just got a single frame, but if you have a sequence of frames, then you can check OpenEXR sequence and um, After Effects will bring those in in sequence. Click OK. So I have my EXR here and After Effects has made a contact sheet which is just an overview of all the different render passes. Um, I created a text overlay that I can just pop over just so you can see exactly what those are. Um, you don't need to do that so I can when I talk about them so out of Maya um, it renders a beauty which is everything or it's your passes all as one thing uh, and then I asked Maya to create a specular diffuse Z and ID pass and there they are the way that After Effects has broken these out is if I click on the specular for example and then I go to the effects control if you can't see effects control here, you can go to window effects control uh, and then it will come up here. And what After Effects does is it uses something called Extractor to um, extract the render layers out of the EXR. Uh, and it does it by, you can just click this box here and choose which one. So if I choose Z, uh, then it's going to, on this EXR layer here, show me Z but we want to see specular so that's how it does it you'll notice that the Z depth is showing pure white um, and all we need to do is bring the uh, white point up and you can see actually there's the information of my Z depth but I will do a separate tutorial on that great so we've imported uh, I'm going to go to this other composition that After Effects has made, which is just not showing everything. Everything is in there, but it's just layered on top of each other. So we can hide things using this little eye icon here. Um, and you'll see that we have the ID, the Z and everything. So I'm gonna turn those off. Um, so specular and diffuse together create RGB. So what we need to do is we need to set the blending mode of our specular uh, to add. And now we can see that the specular and diffuse have combined. And if I turn on my RGBA, you can't see any difference. And that's just how, um, that just shows that it's worked correctly because specular and diffuse uh, together make my beauty. With the beauty pass, I'm just going to do a little bit of colour correction because I feel it's a little bit dark. So to do that, I'm going to go to Effect, 
color correction and I'm just going to use a levels. You can obviously use any type of color correction that you want. You could use the Marathi color to have some more of the grading tools. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to um, click levels. And what that's done is it has applied a levels uh, effect. Um, and if I bring uh, my levels, my white point down, and I'm just going to brighten it up like that. I can quickly just brighten my image and I'm going to can see by clicking this off and on uh, what I've managed to achieve. The only other thing left to do is to bring in the ambient occlusion. So I'm going to right click import file, find the ambient occlusion, which is here. This isn't a multi-layered layered EXR, so I can leave it as footage. I don't need to create a composition for this and import. I'm just going to right click and rename this. AA pass because it's actually named the same as my render pass which isn't very good um, and I'm going to drag it and drop it on top of my um, stack of passes and with an AO pass uh, for this to work we want to set the blending mode to multiply and here if I turn this off and on let's just zoom in a bit and look in kind of this area you can see that's adding some contact shadowing uh, in areas where things are close together and it really just helps um, to sell the effect if you feel that it is too much then if you press T you get to opacity and we can turn it down and have some control so I might just knock it back a bit to sort of 70 percent I'm happy with that the only thing left to do once you've kind of done your composite is to render this out.